Today I'm making uh, stuffed uh, mini pumpkins. There's the tiger stripe, little tiger stripe pumpkins. I'm going to use impossible ground beef and onion, celery, olives, mushrooms, and uh, the little peppers. So I'm going to saute the meat up. I'm going to cook the pumpkins first for about 30 minutes. Cut the tops off, take out the seeds, and then um, then we'll stuff them with the, the mixture. And then we'll bake it again for another half hour. So I'm going to bake the pumpkins till they're fork tender. So here's one of the mini pumpkins that have been cleaned out, and here's the top. So I'm just going to put this on a baking pan, add butter, maybe cinnamon, something like that. Or maybe not, just butter perhaps. And bake that for about a half hour, 40 minutes, to see how the doneness is. Should cook up like a regular squash. So here we are cooking the meat, the faux meat and the vegetables. I'm probably going to add garlic into the mix here, along with the sliced mushrooms and olives. So they'll be ready to go in the pumpkins when they're cooked. All right. So I'm going to try just baking these in the oven with the lids on and butter inside and see what happens. I've got my oven at 375. But I'm just wondering if this, usually I cook my squash upside down. So I'm hoping this might work. But we'll try that. I think I added about four or five cloves of garlic on this, minced. One can of mushrooms and a small diced or sliced olives. This is after one half hour. So we'll just take a taste or a test. And um, yeah, they're fork tender. So I'm going to stuff them. I'm just going to leave the, the butter in here and stuff each and put it back in the oven. So my mixture filled everything and then I have two little bowls left. I'm going to put this all in the oven, heat it through. Kind of cute. Make sure it's nice and hot. 